So find your comfortable seat. Just let your hands rest on your legs. Maybe invite your eyelids to close. And let all the muscles on the face slacken. Let your breath drop down into your belly. And find that alignment for your spine where you're not leaning in any one direction but instead you're at center. And open your ears to notice all of the little sounds that are happening in your environment. Invite yourself to fully land in this present moment. Sealing the lips. Invite your breath to deepen, washing in and out through your nose. Really invite those inhales to drop down into your low belly. Invite your exhales to be even slower than the inhale. Notice the left side of your body. And notice the right side. And notice both sides together, right and left together. Bring your right hand up, using your thumb to close off the right nostril. Inhale through the left. At the top of your inhale, bring your pointer finger to close off the left. Exhale through the right. Stay here, inhale right. At the top, switch, exhale left. Stay here, inhale left. Switch, exhale right. Inhale right. At the top, switch, exhale left. Take a few more on your own. The only time you switch is at the top of your inhale. Balancing the right and left hemispheres of the brain. The next time that you exhale through the left nostril, you can release your hand.
breathing in and out through both. Feel the center line of your body. Keeping your neck long, begin to circle the head and neck. You're welcome to contract the throat slightly, just to hear your breath, creating that ujjayi victory sound. Keep going in the same direction, but slow your circle down even more. Now reverse. When you're ready, slow that circle down even more, slow motion. Finding center. Reach your arms out and bend the elbows, bringing your fingertips to the fronts of the shoulders, thumbs behind, and circle out through the elbows. Good, and you can even try to bring your elbows to touch. Yeah. Reverse. And reach the arms back. Open the arms out wide. Palms are facing up. As you reach the hands back, circle out the wrists. Draw your hands forward. Draw your left pinky back as you reach the rest of the fingers forward. Inhale here. Yeah, good. There you go. So you're, you're taking your right hand and you're holding on to the left pinky. And you're drawing that left pinky back as you draw the rest of your fingers forward. Good. And now take the ring finger. Yeah middle finger, pointer, thumb, good, other hand, start with the pinky, draw it back as you draw the rest of the fingers forward, ring finger, middle, Pointer, thumb, good. Interlace your hands, yep. And now turn them inside out and spread through your fingers as you reach the heels of your hands forward. Good, reach it up. Lean to one side and pass through center, lean to the other side. Go side to side a couple times. Reach up, look up, release your hands and bring them all the way down to the ground on either side of you. 
walk your right fingertips to the right even more and lean into that right hand. Reach your left arm up and over. Good. Let the palm of your hand that's in the air face down and then try to draw your pinky down a little more and your thumb reaches up behind you. Yes, good. Let your head relax. Stay here, take your hand that's in the air and reach it down, palm is facing the ground. Opening that neck and shoulder, you can even spread through your fingertips a little bit. On an inhale, pass through center. Come to the other side, inching that left hand a little bit farther to the left. Reach your right arm up and over. Again, that palm is facing down. Your pinky is trying to face down as your thumb reaches up a little bit behind you. Let your head and neck fall. Let gravity take it. Maybe your chin tucks down a little. Stay here, take your hand that's in the air and bring it down, reaching away from you. The palm is facing down, opening through the head, neck, and shoulder. You might even feel this like up into your head behind your ear. One more breath, breathe into it. Inhale to rise up. Oh, bring your hands to your knees. Circle your torso around. Other way. Slow it down. Inhale your spine to center. Hold the breath for a moment, internal kumbak. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, filling up. Suspend your breath, internal kumbak. Exhale through the mouth. Take two more on your own. Notice what you want to bring into your practice, into your energy, and what you want to let go of. Come back to your ujjayi breath. Let your eyelids float open if they were closed. And let's come lying onto the back with a strap handy and a block. And if you don't have a block, you can use a cushion. So two props nearby. Just inch the rest of your props off to the side for now. So I just have my strap available, resting on my upper rib cage for the moment. 
But before we use it, let your arms and your legs relax into the earth for a moment. Just feel your body alive, yet relaxing on the mat. Keeping your breath, hug your right knee into the chest. Rolling out your right ankle. Keep your right knee hugging into the chest as you open your strap. And we'll step that right foot into the center of the strap, reaching it up towards the sky. Circle this right leg. Circling in each direction. Now we'll go side to side, letting your leg rock right and left. Just let it be a fluid movement for the moment. Holding your straps together with your right hand, let your leg reach open to the right. Let your left arm reach away and pause here for a couple breaths, opening the inner line of this right leg. Passing through center, hold the straps with your left hand. Coming into the twist, reach your right arm away. Open your leg out to the right one more time. And twist one more time. Bring your leg to center. Walking up the strap, bowing your head towards your leg. Lengthen your spine as you lower your head down. Lengthen through your right leg as you let the strap out long and you lower your leg all the way to the ground. Let the arms rest by the sides for a moment and just notice this right side of your body. Does the right side feel any different than the left?
Let's steal the strap with the left foot. Reaching it up towards the ceiling and then circling the leg around. Reverse the direction. When you're ready, go side to side. Just a fluid movement, right and left. Almost like you're not trying very hard. You might notice this the most in your leg, but your spine is twisting as well, wringing itself out so that you can gain a little bit more space in your vertebrae. This can actually help you be a tiny bit taller Hold the straps together with your left hand, opening the leg out to the left, reach your right arm away. Good, breathing here. Passing through center, hold the straps with your right hand coming into the twist. Reach that left arm away. Breathing into the twist. Where can you soften and let go? Maybe the jaw, tip of the tongue. One more time, opening out. Last time in the twist. bringing your legs straight up to the ceiling. Walk your hands up the strap, tucking your head towards your leg. Maybe send your breath into the back of this leg, opening up the hamstring. Now see if you can lengthen your spine even more as you lower it down. Lengthen through this left leg as you let your strap release. Lowering the left leg all the way down. Relax the legs and the arms. Feel that whole left side of your body for a moment. And you become acutely aware of your left side. Notice if it feels different or similar to the right. Take a deep inhale with me, filling up. Exhale out through the mouth. Feel the bottom of your exhale. And take one more. Inhale, filling up. Feel the top. 
Exhale, let it go. Feel the bottom. And return to your ujjayi. Gathering both knees into the chest, let your strap just fall away, rocking the knees around. You can stay here or come into the ultimate hip opener, happy baby. Letting those feet open wide, knees open wide. Send your breath into the places that are feeling this, that are opening for you. You are literally finding more space. And as we find more space in the body, sometimes we find more space in our lives. Again, notice if the jaw is relaxed. Release your feet to the ground with your knees pointing up. Let your arms come down by your sides. Press into your feet, lifting your hips up high for bridge. Inch your shoulders towards each other underneath you. Maybe the hands interlace. Press your arms down as you press into the feet, lifting the hips high. One more breath exactly as you are. On an exhale, lower your hips down. Ooh. Now we'll take the block and we'll come into restorative bridge. So your block is going to come underneath your sacrum. Go ahead and lift your hips up again and place your block underneath the sacrum. Let your arms open a little bit wide Maybe the palms can face up. Allow your body to rest here. Make sure that your legs are comfortable. You can always adjust the position of your feet. Allow your belly button to relax and sink down towards your spine. Maybe rock your head side to side a couple times. Finding center for your head. In this pose, let your breath be natural. See if you can allow your bones to get a little heavier.
You're welcome to continue to stay here in perfect stillness. Or if you want to, you can let your left leg only relax out long, opening the front of that left hip. So your right knee is still bent, but your left leg relaxes out long. If one leg is resting out long, switch. If one leg is out long, come back to where both feet are on the ground. And we'll just rest here for about one more minute. Deepen your breath. You might have to inch your feet a tiny bit closer to you just to prepare to lift your hips high. You can inch your arms close to the body on the ground. Very gently start to press into those feet, lifting the hips high up off the block. Take the block out from underneath you and then lower your back down onto the ground. Let your knees windshield wiper a little bit side to side. Next time your knees fall to the left, let's roll onto the left side. Gently press up onto your hands. Coming onto your hands and knees. Just wag your tail side to side. We're going to come into downward facing dog and I want to give you two options. Option one, you can have your hands on blocks to take the pressure off of your wrists. Option two, your hands are on the ground with wide fingers. Okay. So either way, wherever your hands are, 
Glide your shoulders down the back and then gently press through your hands and arms. So your shoulders are gonna feel nice and far away from your neck. Yeah, that looks beautiful. Now tuck your toes. Lean back towards your toes. Inhale with me. Exhale, press into your feet, lift your hips high, and then press into your hands like you're leaning back into your heels of your feet. Let your head hang. Tuck your chin a little bit, trying to gaze towards the backs of your, well, towards your legs or towards your belly button. Good. If you feel like your shoulders are close to your ears again, try nice gigi. You can always try shrugging your shoulders up to your ears to accentuate it, and then let them relax back and down away from your ears, and they'll widen, they'll broaden. Good. Good, Jenny. Take a couple more slow breaths here. Now look forward. Take your right foot forward in between your hands and lower your back knee down onto the ground. Relax your back foot. Good, inhale, lift your heart. Nice, you can even bring your hands to that front knee and press into the knee a little bit. Yes, you're balancing. Let's just take one deep breath here. Release your hands to the ground or your blocks. Tuck your back toes, downward dog. Coming to the other side, step your left foot up in between your hands. Lower your back knee. Good, relax your back foot. Lift your heart. Maybe bring your hands to that front knee. Remember, this is a balancing posture. Press in, take one breath here. Release, hands come down. Last downward dog. Feel free to walk it out a little bit, bending one knee and then the other. Now lower your knees to the ground and sink your sitting bones back towards your heels, child's pose. You can even bring your palms together, letting them touch in prayer. Maybe even saying a, a prayer or a blessing to yourself. May you be healthy, may you be happy, anything at all. One vertebrae at a time, roll it up. And we'll elevate the legs for Shavasana today. So option one, if you like to do legs up the wall, then bring your mat right over to the wall 
and you can let your legs come up the wall. You're also welcome to place a folded blanket or have your bolster underneath your hips with the legs up the wall. So let me just show you that in case you haven't done it like this before. If you want to try this, I like to come in either sitting on the bolster or I sit on the ground and I'll bring the bolster in later. But sometimes it's easier to start with the bolster already underneath you. And I'm a few inches away from the wall so that my legs can relax here. They're not trying to fall down on me. This, this feels wonderful if you're interested in trying this. One other option is you can do flying Shavasana. Flying Shavasana is where you bring your bolster underneath the calves, the calf muscle of your legs. So my bolster is touching my ankles and my calf. It's just a subtle elevation that feels really nice. Whichever position you choose today, you can let the arms release out by your sides with the palms facing up. Feel free to cover the body with a blanket. I'll read you a poem by Dana Falls as you begin to rest. And then we'll rest in silence. Nothing you do or say, imagine or pray, is outside creation's web. Know yourself as vastness, and someone you never met may find themselves directly experiencing truth for the first time. The universe is like that, light pouring into light, love increasing the awareness of connection growing wider and wider until inside and outside, outside is inside. Until inside is outside and outside is inside. And all we're left with is miracles. And all we're left with is miracles. Enjoy this time of relaxation. I'll wake you when the time is right.
slowly invite your breath to deepen. Wiggling fingers and toes. Circling wrists and ankles. Maybe stretch the arms up over the head and roll onto one side. In time, you can make your way to seated. Coming back to where we first began, let both sitting bones drop. Let the hands rest on the legs, maybe the eyelids close. Feel the whole left side of your body and feel the right. Feel both sides together. Breathing as equally as possible through both nostrils. Let your ears open, deep listening to your environment. This is your moment, your miracle. Inhale with me. Let it go. Bring the palms together at the heart. Let's offer gratitude for this opportunity to practice yoga today. So many people who have passed down this knowledge, creating this opportunity. The light in me honors the light in you. Hari Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste.